what's going on everybody I'm back on the bike again oh let me tell you what a day I've had I just had I had to get on here and just get my frustration out and I tell you it has been a day dealing with these students of mine <coughs> I don't know. If I had any hair, I'd probably pull it out. These makeup tests, I'm telling you what. They're missing tests. And I mean, I know it used to not be like this, but I tell you, these kids now, missing tests, wanting to make them up. I mean, the, the, the last day of school is Tuesday. I have students uh, asking if they can take a makeup test on Thursday. I tell them, the, the, the quarter's over. No, you can't. They're sleeping, they're sleeping and not waking up in time to come take the test. And then not getting in touch with me the same day. Wait until the weekend. Until so I send an email out to everybody saying, Saying, mentioning something about makeup tests. It's just, oh man. Uh, you probably notice I don't have my front facing camera on the bike. I am, I am on my wife's bike today. Uh, I figured I'd take it out for a ride. She hadn't, ri she hadn't ridden it in a while. So, I just got this one. I just hopped on hers and well, I said, well, it needs to be ridden. Uh, so I didn't feel like taking the mount off mine and putting it on here. I just, I was ready to get out of the house. I had some plans to go get some things done, but I'm telling you, I just, after all I've been through this morning, I just, I said, I'm gonna just hop on here and go. <clears throat> yeah, I tell you, these these kids nowadays, it's just like you got to tell them every single thing to do. I don't know what it is. It's like they're not. Some of them can't think for themselves. And it's not all of them, but there's some of them out there like that. But I tell you what, we got to fix for it next quarter. Next quarter and beyond. And we're going we're gonna to take care of all these makeup tests. They won't want to miss one. I know that. But, you know, just got to deal with it. And you know, I'm not complaining about my job. I love my job. I have no stress in my job. I got wonderful bosses. Uh, they let us run our classrooms like we want. And you know, I guess part of it, part of it's my fault. I've got to put stricter rules in place. And that's what I'm gonna do next quarter. So, well, we're just gonna take a nice, easy ride, just to ride around, get this frustration out. <clears throat> I had someone comment about them uploading a video and the, re the quality wasn't that good. And I, I sent a reply back, but in case it didn't make any sense, basically what happens is when you upload a video, YouTube has to process it. And it can take a while to process it, especially if you film in 4K, it can take it a long time to process. And from what I understand, it creates different videos, I guess. I don't know if it's different videos or what, 
but it does where you at the different resolutions and you got to let it process through all those resolutions and so you know sometimes it can take a day to do that and then also when you bring the video up sometimes what YouTube will do is when you're playing the video back it'll just put it at like 360 resolution and uh, you can go hit that gear icon and I can't remember exactly what you hit I think it's the first thing where it tells you the resolution you click that and then you got to click advanced and then you can change it to the highest resolution so that could be what it is but yeah you, this YouTube you got to give it you got to give it time to process the files I typically try to upload my videos a day beforehand to give it time to process now I do film in 2.7 I was just running out of room real quick on my computer but uh, this video here I'm actually filming in 4k and I have the uh, I have the uh, GPS turned on I've got a hole drilled in my media mod and and uh to see if it's going to pick up the satellites now so we'll see how that goes if i have my speedometer overlaid on the screen then that means it worked if i don't then that means it didn't work but i did get the hole drilled ended up the i could only drill a 4 16th hole the uh the little bars on the media mod where the the cover of the cold shoe they're exactly half inch apart so I went with the 416s and uh, so we will see how that works looks like they're they're building a new gas station here kind of curious to see when that thing opens looks like it's a little more than a gas station but maybe not I don't know there's a little chunk of sidewalk out we need to get in the road for just a minute but no I am pretty much out of school I don't I, I'm I don't have to go Monday three of my classes are completely done with finals and one class they just have a common final left to take and that's Monday at seven o'clock at night so I got to go over there at seven o'clock Monday night and give that and then I will officially be out but I consider it I consider myself being out uh, and then the fun part starts getting all, everything graded and all that stuff uh, so we'll see how that goes but when I'm out I'm out for about two two and a half weeks something like that and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna challenge myself I guess I am going to try not to use my vehicle any and when I say not use it any I know there's a few things that I'm going to have to use it on for instance I've got to get the oil change so I, obviously I have to drive it for that but when I go get my oil changed I plan on loading my bike up and riding around over there in Monroe a little bit while they're changing the oil so I will ride it for that but any kind of errands that I have to run anything I have to do grocery shopping bank paying bills anything like that I'm gonna go on my bike and not use my vehicle and just see how it goes 
I can't think of anything else where I'll have to use my vehicle. I do have to go pay my taxes. I gotta mail that off. I could stick it in the mailbox, but we're gonna take a ride to the post office. That's a pretty long ride, but we'll take the, take the bike to the post office and do that. Uh, so I plan on doing that. I know I gotta go to the bank. And then we may go, uh, we may go to the grocery store and get groceries for the week. See if I can fit them all on my bike. And there's the, there's a new eating place we have. It's called Dat Catfish Place. It's right there. It's just right down the road. We may, we may have to go there and eat one night. See how it is. I've looked at the reviews online and they've got five stars, so it might be pretty good. It says seafood and steak. So I've never eaten there and I've always wanted a good fish place. I just hope they're not too expensive. to start I just remember when I saw that sense and family medicine I'm gonna have to find me a new doctor that's who I used to go to but this year they stopped seeing regular patients they're just a walk-in clinic so I've got to find somebody else I still got a little medicine left I probably got a month month and a half of medicine left before I got a find me a doctor so we'll uh we'll look for one of those but boy i tell you that place was nice i mean you didn't even have to make an appointment when i needed my medicine refilled i just went up there and you were in and out in 30 minutes or less i mean it was just it was fast I think I'm gonna ride down this road. I don't think I've ever been down here. I might have, but I don't know. I don't think I've been down here. This kind of looks familiar. That just ends right there. Let's see where this goes. Wonder if it goes on around. I it probably doesn't. Well, there's a stop sign up here, so I guess it does. But no, when when school gets out, when I'm when I don't have to go up there Monday, Tuesday. That's probably when I'm going to start all these good rides here. Oh, I know where we are now. We're over here at Dean Chapel Road. But yeah, this is just going to be a short ride. Trying out the GPS, seeing if it works since I got the hole drilled. Just getting away from everything from, the, from work. I've got... I've got uh, five sets of papers to grade. Oh, isn't that going to be fun? I ought, to, I ought to see if I can give some of you my password to grade scope, and y'all go in there and grade some of them for me. That'd work for me. go up here turn around and head back home we'll have a little more exciting ride next time
I tell you, I tell you, last night, oh, I got home from work. Uh, today's Saturday when I'm recording this. I didn't even tell y'all. It's uh, February 24th, 2024, 2.54 in the afternoon, and it is 72 degrees and sunny. It is a beautiful day. But yesterday when I got home from work, I took a nap. Cat, jump, cat jumped up there with me and took a nap with me. And we played some VR. We played three rounds of putt-putt, and then a new golf course came out on Golf Plus. So after that, me and one of the other guys that's in our group, he, lo he loves playing Golf Plus too. So we hopped in there and played some Golf Plus. And then I went on and sat on the couch to uh, watch some TV. And I'm telling you, for some reason, I was just flat worn out. And I went and got in the bed. And I guess I must have, I guess I slept like a log last night. I got up, I woke up about 7.45 this morning. But I tell you, I feel good today. So. Yeah, I think I, I found some insurance, health insurance for my daughter. I tell you, it's not cheap. I tell you what gets me, I got I had the family plan at work on the health insurance. And it was me, my wife, and my daughter. And then of course at the end of the month, my daughter won't be covered anymore. And so I called the HR department and asked them how much difference it's gonna be, you know, for on how much I gotta pay on the premium. I figured, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start saving me a little money on that. Now to kind of offset some of the cost of me having to pay for her, her on an individual plan, 50 bucks. That's all that came off. I don't know anything about that. That might be normal, but I was expecting more than $50. I know that. But I guess it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. And I will, I will have the front-facing camera on future, on the future rides. I just, I'm telling you, I just didn't feel like getting it all ready today. I don't know why, but I just didn't. One of them days, I guess. I think we all have them. And then when I go to the, uh, when I go to get my oil changed, we're gonna ride around that area. And it's, it's changed so much since I've grown up. I mean, a, a bunch, it's changed. And so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert another clip into the video. Well, I say I am. I plan on inserting another clip into the video. I want to see how, it, after I record it, see if it's any good, how it works. And if, I, if it's decent, I'll put it in there. It's going to be a video from my VR. I've got an app in my headset called Wonder. It's called Wonder. And you can go to any place in the world and it feels like you're there and you can look all around it's 360 and the neat thing about it is you go there and you're looking and it's 2023 
I think that's the latest images. They may have some 2024, I don't know. But anyway, what you can do is on your wrist in the VR, there's a timeline. And you can go back, I think, 10 to 13 years and you can click that year and, and it comes up to what it looked like back then. It's pretty neat. I'll do it for that area and I'll, and I'll also go to where I grew up, the house I grew up in, and we'll look at it today and look at it in the, you know, 10, 13 years ago, how it's changed. I don't know if some of you may be interested in seeing that or not, but I'm gonna put it in there. I'll put it at the end of the video, so if you don't wanna watch it, you can just stop it after the ride. But I, 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 think that's, I think that stuff's kinda interesting. But yeah, you can pretty much, anywhere in the world you can go. You, you can even go in, uh, into like museums, these famous museums. You can go in there and look around and go through the museum and everything. It's pretty neat. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what we'll do there. But let's see how far we've ridden today. 5.3 miles, okay. All right, I got a car behind me. Let me use my hand signal. Showing them I'm gonna be turning. All right. So, you know, sorry if this might not have been that interesting of a ride, but it's just one of them days today, I'm telling you. The rides we have going forward while I'm out, they're gonna be, hopefully they're gonna be more interesting and be pretty good. Tell y'all some stories about the play, you know, when we go over there, tell you some stories about me growing up, and how things used to be. All right, so I'm gonna call this a video. I hope you enjoyed it check out my other videos give me a like share subscribe and comment and i will see y'all in the next one later